Same team, I guess, behind Bubsy 3D, which was terrible, as we all know. Or maybe it was that company, I don't know. They are coming. Go, towards. Uh, let me scoot. Burnish her a little bit. But what about the serum? Leave nothing. Now I will show you how I deal with informants. Finish him. With pleasure. Wrong game, dude. Just saying. These are the coordinates Ellis sent. Over there. I'm trying not to talk over these cutscenes too much because I forgot that it has no subtitles. And the two sequels after this have the same problem, so... I just talk whenever I can. It's Ellis. Executed. Leon, you find anything? The place is torched. I don't know what they were growing, but it wasn't narcotics. Romer knew we were coming. So what's our next move? We watch for the next viral outbreak. We won't have to wait long. Logan's report was clear enough. I want two additional teams assigned to this. Find Romer. I understand. I don't like that guy. The guy who just said I understand. Logan is my best agent. What do you want to do? Nothing. We will wait. We will wait and see what he can discover. I don't like that guy either. Although, to be fair, everybody in that office was coming off as very ominous to me. Our WHO contact was correct. Everyone within 100 miles is dead. Not everyone. This man is still alive. How is that possible? It's not. He should be dead then. Hmm. A little bit of a... Uh glitchiness. Oh, yeah. For some reason, the recorder I'm using for the game footage is not going very well, but it's struggling as much as it can, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get to the game. Hopefully this part of the game will fare much better. Washington, D.C., Georgia Street, Agency Directive. Our FBI informant has pinpointed the terrorist viral attack in the D.C. subway system. Our contacts within U.S. Defense and Interpol confirm the identities of the terrorists. We will drop you in after CBDC, U.S. Army Chemical and Biological Defense Command, operations begin. Your targets are Romer, Kravich, Aramov, and Gerdu. SATCOM has intercepted coded microwave traffic. Romer must have an uplink station in the area. Assist CBDC if needed. Avoid collateral casualties if possible. Check your objectives on site for more information. Okay, let's go. When does the operation begin? Our intelligence within the FBI was not clear, but Romer's men are already inside the subway. Is it the same virus? Yes, enough to eliminate everyone within a hundred miles or more. Procedure? Standard intercept and eliminate. These are from our contact inside Interpol. Jenkins' team is already on search and defuse. You are the trigger. I recognize Anton Gerdu and Mara Aramov. Who's the other one? Pavel Kredic, Roma's communications expert. When you eliminate him, you'll also have to destroy his calm uplink. You'll be dropped into the strike zone when the firefight begins. You'll have an hour to find your targets and take them out. Do the locals know what they're dealing with? No. Okay. I've got an ID match for Roma on level one. Gerdu is on level two. No location yet for Kravich, and I don't see any sign of Aramov. Copy. I'm on my way. All right. Before we do anything, though, we're going to go to the controller options, turn vibration off, and also turn off inverted aim. This isn't Star Fox, so inverted controls are not good for me here. All right. Now we can proceed. So... This is a siphon filter. Um, yeah, sorry, I got distracted for a second there. I was shooting these guys down. So, um, I guess with all that said, how's it going, everyone? Foxy Carnage here. Welcome to my Let's Play channel. I 
I haven't done anything for this channel in a good while. And um, I was thinking of what game I should uh, start doing more often on my Let's Play channel, as you can see here. And a good friend of mine on Discord, Nova Ascension 88 decided that I should play Siphon Filter, which is a third-person shooter released in 1999 for the original PlayStation, followed by two sequels on the same system. Uh... They're basically kind of like Goldeneye meets Tomb Raider? At least I think those two are the biggest games that this one gets compared to in many ways. And yeah, I can kind of see that. Although, in my opinion, this is a much better Tomb Raider than the actual Tomb Raider, for the time anyway, because I don't like the original Tomb Raider very much. I'm sorry, Cat Icarus. But the original Tomb Raider kind of sucks. Cannot have you blowing me up. And there's going to be a bit of slowdown here and there on the game's part. Because it's kind of, at least at the title screen that you saw, was kind of struggling to run... Oh, okay, thankfully I wasn't near that explosion. But yeah, um, the story of this game is that we play as an undercover agent named Gabe Logan, and he's after a terrorist named Eric Romer, who plans to take over the, the entire world, I guess, using a a fictional virus called Siphon Filter. CBDC has an agent pinned down at your location. They're requesting cover fire. And we have a bonus little objective we gotta do here where we gotta protect CBDC from some terrorists while they try to disarm a bomb with the Siphon Filter in it. At least I think that's what's in the, uh... At least I think that's what's in these bombs. Unless they're just straight-up explosives. Not that it matters too much. Actually, wait a minute. I could be wrong. I think the, uh... I think the siphon filter doesn't come up until later. All clear, Gabe. Alright, that's just to confirm that, uh... I did my job. And I'm going to get more ammo, because I can. And I believe in here there's more M16 ammo that... I'm pretty sure I didn't get. Yep. All filled to the max. We are going to go into this dark room using the flashlight because there's a little something in here we need. And that is, of course, grenades. I don't find them particularly useful. Certainly not for this area. Same with the M79, which I'm going to get soon. <sighs> but... I wanted to start doing Let's Plays on this uh, channel again, and I thought this would be one of several games that I would finally get to... that I would get to do, uh, finally. Okay, that's not going to help me at all. So... Okay, just pick them off with bullets to their heads, and it should be a lot easier. And I'm just going to go here and get the ammo early. And now I'm going to switch to the M16. You'll see why. Okay, that's not good. Wait, how are you still alive? Wait, oh my god, more of you! Okay, whoo. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, some of these textures are not loading correctly. I am not running this on an original PS1, if this is any indication. Um... Oh, oh god, oh god, mmm. So sorry about that. I accidentally bit my lip, I didn't mean to do that. But I'm actually playing this on the 
EPSXE emulator. I'm sure this is on the PS Store, but I don't have money to uh, purchase it at the moment. That's also why I haven't gotten River City Girls on my PS4 yet. And that's a game that I want on my PS4 because I have an extra controller. And the only real game that I have on my PS4 is Spider-Man. With the it's the game of the year edition with all of the DLC, and I did finally unlock all of the DLC, and I'm already halfway through the second chapter of the DLC, which is I believe Turf Wars. Now I'm going to go in here and destroy the comm equipment and take out Kravich because he is the comms expert. Going to immediately switch to the uh, M16. Did I get him? Yes, I did. Nice. Let's go ahead and shoot this window before I do anything. Oh, and another call from Leon Zing. These are basically like the codec calls from Metal Gear Solid. Dave, I'm getting interference. You must be near their communications array. Kravich. Kravich. Kravich is a pussy, and you will see in just a second that that is indeed the case if I remember how to even do this right. If I could just aim this right... There we go. Okay, not as hard as it was last time I tried recording this. And the only reason I'm doing this again is because... Well... Uh, the game recorded okay, it's just that the audio kind of lagged. I'm not sure why that was. Maybe it's the plugin I'm using? And get rid of you. Alright. Uh, no. Wrong button. I've taken out Kravich and destroyed the comm equipment, but I don't see their uplink dish. I'll trace it. Oh, those were... oh dear. Okay, those were M16 bullets. Alright. Now I'm going to switch back to this. It's actually a pretty good gun. Most guns I use are pretty good, I would say, in this game. Haven't played enough of the sequels to know that should not be happening. Haven't played enough of the sequels to know what's better about those ones, if I'm being honest. There's going to be some slowdown. I do apologize for that. Again, it's because of not necessarily the plugins that I'm using, but um, it could very well be the uh, thing I'm using to record itself. Romer's men have locked down the subway entrance security gates. You'll have to find the bypass switch. See if you can find a service elevator. Uh. Thankfully, I'm not bleeding from biting my lip earlier, but it still hurts pretty bad, so... I mean, it, it is kind of painful. Not too painful, but really painful. So there is going to be some slowdown, and if there is, I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can. Doing the best I can to avoid more slowdown. Maybe it's the PC that I'm using altogether. I don't know. Uh, so... Because the, sub gate, the subway gate is locked, we have to find a way to unlock the gate. How do we do that? Well, remember that window I just shot down before taking down Kravich? There's a reason for that. So, go over here. And then, oh god, no, it should not be doing this. Okay, I don't know why this is happening the way it is. That is a flat jacket, I don't need that. I will, however, take the sniper rifle ammo. Even though I hardly, if ever, use sniper rifle ammo. It's always handy to have in case I do need it. Now I'm going to go up here. Climb up. And get another weapon. Oh, oh there we go. Uh, but of course these guys won't let me get it without a fight. Just keep on 
shimmying over the pipe. On the pipe. Get the M79. It's a grenade launcher. Then just climb back down. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh god, I'm really not liking that slowdown. Thankfully, it's not affecting the game too badly. It's only happening very sporadically. And that makes me uncomfortable. It shouldn't be doing that at all. But whatever. Alright, shoot that lock to open the gate. So I can get through. Get some of that 9mm ammo. Whoa, okay, don't fall down there. That's not good. But yeah, um, my friend Nova Ascension 88 wanted me to play this because apparently I guess it's one of his favorite games. And it's only until I start playing Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, uh, which I will do eventually. Oh, and we got another call from Leon. Gabe, this must be where the subway security bypass switch is located. Find it and shut it off. Copy. See if you can find a copy of the subway system security protocols. That accidental bite is really starting to bother me now. Uh, I should probably do something about it once I'm done recording here, and... you bypassed the subway security. The ramp in the first terminal should be clear now. Alright, good enough for me. So we're going to go back up. And as you can see, I have a taser there. So I can do this. <laughs> I just find that really fun to do. Normally, I think I would save this for an occasion where I don't have ammo for my weapons. But it could be worse. It could be so much worse. Gonna wait for him to go away. Can't wait for him to come back now. Hey, buddy, you at the time? Nah, it's fine. And, however, when you do tase enemies like that, they will burn up. And if they do, don't hang around them when they do, because um, you yourself will get burned up, and therefore you will die, and you will have to do the mission over from the very beginning if you do that. So, uh, be careful. Okay, just gonna keep shooting dudes. Now I'm gonna go into the subway and let CBDC take care of the rest. Oh god. And I kinda, the reason I kinda wanted to do Let's Plays again anyway is because I wanted to do something, you know, worthy of this channel that I enjoy doing, you know, while the virus is still going around. So, uh,. I think you all know the drill by now of what you should and shouldn't do during this difficult time. Roamer's men have set a viral bomb on level one. If you find and tag it, I'll give its location to CBDC. Copy. Where's Roamer? Level two. I'm on my way. Oh, well, thankfully, a call where... Thankfully, a call with Leon in this area where the train doesn't go while the conversation is happening. Finally. I may as well switch to the M16 here. You'll see why in a minute. That guy had a silence at a 9mm pistol, but... There's no way to get to him. And there's a whole bunch of dudes, as you can see, with M16s. So, uh, be careful. Be very, very careful. And, oh, Jesus! Okay, he took me by surprise, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and tag this bomb. Beacon set. Tell CBDC to get its guys down here. Copy. They're on their way. Thank you for that. Now, I'm going to go... Oh, wait, what? 
Wait, who is shooting at me still? Okay. Well, he can't shoot me while the train's in the way. Ah. Alright. Now, I don't have to worry about M16 ammo, because I believe there's a box full of it over here, if I am correct. Yep. And I'm going to immediately switch back to the... Uh, Silenced 9mm. I guess it's a SOCOM pistol? I'm not sure. Because it's not a Beretta. And there's more guys with pistols over here, so just get rid of them as quickly as I can. Stock up on that ammo. I don't know if there's any more guys who come after me. Uh, but before I go any further, get the flashlight, because you will not be able to activate this switch in the dark. Or maybe you will. No, oh, no, no. You need the flashlight so you can even see it. That's to go to the next floor, which is below. But I am going to switch the shotgun very quickly before I do that. And have some shotgun fun. Uh, did it not count? Oh, Jesus, get, get up there. Yeah, want to be careful with the, um subway cars as they go by because if you're in their line of sight and they go right for you, you are dead. Okay, how was I missing the guy right in front of me? That's what I want to know. Now get back this way. That gets rid of you, idiots. I'm gonna go this way. Switch back to the shotgun. Go down the elevator. Because there is some light down here, so I don't need to uh, use the flashlight to see what's around me. And another call from Leon? I've located Romer. He's on the lower level, arming another bomb. I'm moving. Oh, slow down. Why? I swear this doesn't happen very often, folks. It could very well just be the recorder I'm using for the game footage, because it's not the same one that I'm using for the webcam footage that you're seeing here. Okay, it took me three shotgun blasts to get him. Where are you going, buddy? Okay, so... There's one more bomb, and there's another guy, I believe, with a flak jacket equipped that is guarding the bomb. When you want to get to him, you want to get him from the right side there instead of the left. Why do you want to get him from the right instead of the left? You'll find out in just a minute. And by that I meant as soon as I take out these guys here. So, if you try to approach him from the left, he will throw a grenade at you, but if you get him from the right, you're more likely to hit him easily because he will just shoot at you with whatever weapon he has, which I believe is a shotgun. So, did I get him? No, I did not get him. Dude, please show your head so I thank you. All right. And the reason I wanted to aim for his head is because he had a flak jacket, which is basically this game's equivalent of body armor, in case I didn't say so before. And with that, we have our second bomb that we can tag, and... Well, let's just go ahead and do that, shall we? Gabe, what's happening? I'm setting a beacon. Wait. Leon, this one's different from the others. It has a oh dear. timer, and it looks... Gabe, that's not viral. It's too late. Oh... Uh, 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 uh. 
Do I wish to save my game? Yes. Slide and filter... Slot on it. Yeah, do we like it to create one? Yes. And we'll just go with the first one. And I'm going to be constantly saving over that one because I'm not an idiot who likes to save over multiple slots like some people do. And it looks like, with that said, the first part of this first mission is done and over with. In the next episode, Gabe Logan is going to get out of the now damaged subway station and continue to, uh, continue to pursue Romer. So, with all that said, I am Foxy Carnage. Thank you for listening and watching. And I will see you all in the next episode of Let's Play Cyberfilter. See you guys then.